yogis, today we'll be doing a restorative floor yoga flow. Yes, that's a tongue twister. Try saying that 10 times fast. <laughs> Come in comfy clothes, ready to relax and refresh your body and your mind. Bring lots of props, pillows, one to five blocks, anything you need to feel extremely comfortable in the postures. Let's get started. Let's all get on our mats. Today we're gonna start in a supported child's pose so you can grab your big juicy pillow and place it in front of you, wherever feels best for you. If you want the pillow really close to your thighs and resting your belly and your chest, or you can move it a bit more forward and allow space for the belly and just resting your chest and your head on your pillow, whatever feels best for you. I'll tell you when to switch sides with your face to look in a different direction. Your hands can be placed wherever is most comfortable for you. Just close your eyes and start to enter our practice of restorative yoga. We'll flow super slowly through some relaxing postures. Use as many props as needed to feel extremely comfortable in every posture. Even here in child's pose, if you need some extra pillowing to make it even higher, you can do that as well. Or if you need pillows in between your thighs and your calf muscles to relieve um, some of the weight bearing on your ankles, you can do so as well. Whatever feels best for you, most comfortable for you in every position. We're always moving and doing and being active. The mind is always wandering, so it's always important to find yourself in a restorative practice of any kind. It can be yoga, meditation, even just laying in a nice shavasana after your yoga practice is also restorative. Giving your body that time it deserves to properly rest and heal. It also allows yourself to really pinpoint any points of tension on your body. If we're in a restorative posture and you feel something super tight or uncomfortable and you know that that's a nice little target spot for you to work on, making sure you use props well or move your body in any certain way to make sure you can relieve that tension, to release that stress that's accumulated in that area. So we'll be here for about two more minutes in silence together. <sighs> Breathing deeply through the nose, feeling this gentle stretch in your hips, knees, and ankles. Feeling your breath against your pillow or in between your thighs. It almost feels like you're breathing from your whole back region. Normally we focus our breath in the front of our body, in our bellies and our chest. But it's also nice to think of it on the back of our body as well. So in child's pose, this comes more naturally. Really feeling the movement of your breath, spreading the surface of your back. the top and the bottom and the center. Breathing deeply in your child's pose. Try as little as possible to adjust in the posture, making sure that when you enter the postures, you're using as many props as you can and finding your ultimate comfortable position to hold for these three or a couple of minutes. Slowly lift your head and change the position or the direction that you're looking in. 
just to even out the stretch on your neck. If you don't meditate often, a restorative practice can be a beautiful leeway into a meditation practice. Learning to quiet the mind, to find your own stillness within your posture, within your mind. Anytime your mind starts to wander, just bring it back to your breath, and the sensations you feel in your body from your posture. See if you're holding any tension anywhere. Use your breath to release it. Relieve your body of any tension. Completely releasing into your posture, surrendering to the ground beneath you, to your pillow that's holding you up comfortably. a couple more deep breaths in your child's pose before we move forward. Slowly start to place your hands on the ground. And before you come up, just release the head and do yes and no with the neck. And then slowly use your hands to help you come up. And find a nice seated pose. It can be an easy seating posture, a lotus pose. Whatever feels nice for you right now. <sighs> Just close your eyes for a moment as your circulation flows back down through your body. See if you can feel the pillow that was once against your cheek. Feeling this beautiful space in your lungs for deeper breath without anything in front of it like the pillow was a second ago. Just feeling the differences in your body from laying on the prop and now sitting up. <sighs> Bringing your hands to your knees, let's add a little bit of a gentle movement here just to warm up the spine, just circling around on your hips. Your hands can be wherever they want to move to if they feel more comfortable on the thighs, they can be there as well, or on the floor in front of you. Just close the eyes and let the hands travel wherever they want to. Feeling this movement, circling the spine. Releasing any blockages or tension. Let's change direction. Mm, 
connect your movement to your breath. Feeling grounded in your legs, feeling the ground beneath you. I love good restorative floor practice. It's always so relaxing and rejuvenating. Makes you feel rooted and refreshed. Come back to center. Close the eyes, just feeling that energy as if you were still spinning in circles with your spine. <sighs> Let's inhale and bring the hands open back, opening the heart forward. And exhale, give yourself a nice juicy hug. Doesn't matter which arm is over the other, but just take note for a second, because we'll switch sides shortly. Take a moment here in this hug, taking a couple deep breaths, feeling your breath underneath your arms. Inhale, open the arms. Slowly radiating your heart forward. Exhale, switch the position of your arms and hug yourself again. Feel free to let the head just curl into the nook of your arms. Breathing deeply, feeling the breath travel up and down your spine. Slowly release the hands back down. Let's come into a gentle seated twist. You'll bring your right hand behind you as far as you can without being too active, just wherever it comfortably lands behind you. The left hand will come to your right knee. Just look behind you, taking a couple deep breaths here in your seated gentle twist. Always feel free to close the eyes and feel the posture from the inside. Really doing a body scan in each posture, seeing what you feel in different areas of your body. Always scanning for any areas that need some extra love, extra tension releasing. And all you have to do is just breathe deeply into that spot Focus on healing, on healing energy. Come back to the center, let's slowly change sides. Left hand comes behind you as much as possible, it's gently comfortable. And right hand to your left knee, looking behind you. You can stay with the eyes open if that's more comfortable here in your seated twist, or close the eyes gently. Here. Slowly come back to center. We'll come into fire log pose now. A bit of a deep hip opening posture, so if you feel any deep sensations, feel free to use any props to loosen um, the intensity. So the left leg will come forward parallel to the line of your mat or just straight in front of you so that your ankle is in line with your knee. And then you'll bring the right foot on top and connect your ankle to your knee and your knee to your ankle. 
If this is really difficult, you can just focus on one leg at a time and do half. You can just have one leg in front of you and use your hands to gently put pressure on your leg. Gently, of course. If you're okay with both. Even if they're not connected, it's okay if one leg is totally up here. As long as you're using your body weight to sort of inch forward to go deeper into the posture. Now you can use a prop to put on your legs and just rest on your pillow. You could use as many pillows as you want to. If you want to stack them up so you're staying high and just gently resting. Or if you want to come lower, putting a little bit more pressure on the legs, that's okay as well. You can also do this without a prop and go all the way down. Whatever feels best for you today, listen to your body, listen to what feels comfortable. Take a couple moments to truly adjust whatever you need to adjust to make sure you're at your optimal comfort in this sensational hip posture. And we'll slowly find our stillness. Connecting to your breath. Connecting to the sensation in your hips. Trying to adjust as little as possible throughout your posture, throughout your stillness. Even if things start to tingle and you go to sleep in your limbs, it's okay. It just means that we're stopping the circulation for a moment so that when we get out of the posture, the circulation will flow through and clear any blockages in your veins and circulatory system. And just know that even if it doesn't feel so intense or so crazy, if you're more flexible, um, it's still doing work, it's still relaxing you, relieving you of stress and tension, allowing you to connect more to the ground beneath you and give your body time to heal. Slowly come out and change legs. You can move your props. I'm sure your legs feel nice and comfortable in the fire log pose now after holding it for a moment. So slowly release, mindfully switching legs, bringing the right leg in front of you now. Heel in line with your knee. And then placing the left leg on top. Connecting the ankle and the knee, and the knee and the ankle. Again, you can choose to use the same props that you used on the other side, or you can do something different. Try a couple different variations, and then we'll meet together for stillness. So see what's best for you. I think for this one, I'm gonna do without my pillow because I feel nice and warmed up now. So using your props or not, make sure you're comfortably stable and able to hold your posture for one to two minutes. Trying as little as possible to adjust. 
even if you find an itch on your forehead or your hair is tickling the back of your neck, try to disconnect from those distracting components. And use your mind, your powerful mind, to hold still, to feel this quietness within your mind and your body. See if your muscles are tightening up in the hip region, trying to almost hold the posture. And use your breath to release again. And see what happens in your body as you give into your breath as you surrender into the posture, it almost feels like it becomes more quiet. Like you start to feel less of the hip sensation and almost nothing, complete stillness. Entering this meditative state of peace. Slowly start to come back up. Woo. Let's open the legs slowly. We'll come into supported forward fold. So the legs will be relaxed. They won't be together. Be about maybe hips distance or as wide as your mat. And you can use your props. If you have a big bolster or pillow, you can just rest your forehead on the pillow. If you want to go a bit deeper, you can place the pillow on your thighs and rest on the pillow like that. If you need more pillows, always feel free to get as many pillows as possible. Really, if you want to stack up five pillows right now to find your optimal comfort, you can do that. Know that, okay? <laughs> And so, yeah, so the legs are as wide as the mat a bit. Choose your variation of pillows. I'm gonna put them on my thighs. And slowly start to enter your stillness. You can also place the pillow on your shins if you're feeling a little bit more flexible. And if you need an extra pillow for your head, you can do that as well. All the props are welcome. I want you to feel as comfortable as possible in your supported forward fold. Hmm. You start to enter your stillness, making sure everything in the body is relaxed. sitting in these postures for a couple of minutes each we allow the body to go deep into the connective tissues called fascia which store lots of sensations memories emotions movement stiffness which is really hard to activate and locate when you're moving too much. So when we hold it for long periods of time, we allow the body to enter these deep, deep connective tissues and to heal them. If you can imagine a spider web, it looks like that. And 
it's sort of like a skin underneath your skin that wraps every muscle, every organ. And it looks like a very, very thick spider web. And if you just touch it, it fades away just like a spider web. So really, when we go deep into the connective tissues, we allow these tissues to loosen up, to become thinner, more flexible, release any trauma or stress or emotions that are being stored there. That is hard to do without holding for long periods of time. So if you want to visually imagine that, you're welcome to. At this point, you can imagine it in the legs and the hips, in the lower back, in the upper back. Any space that you feel is being stretched right now, try to imagine this thick spider web that with every breath you take, it becomes a little bit thinner, a little bit lighter, maybe starts to fade away, relieving any tension that could be stored there. Again, if anything starts to fall asleep, like your toe, it's okay. It's part of the restorative practice. Slowly come up. From your relaxing, supported forward fold, you can move the, pro the pillows or props that you're using. Cross over your legs slowly, feeling that nice deep stretch in your hamstrings behind your legs. And we'll meet each other in a tabletop. This tabletop can be in any variation that feels best for you. We'll be here just for a moment before we go into thread the needle. So find your tabletop, take a deep breath here. If you want, you can add a little bit of movement. If you feel you need to, maybe just shaking out the shoulders, shaking out the hips, rolling on your wrists, listen to your body. Allow any part of your body that feels a little bit of stiffness to just release with this little movement. And try to keep it as restorative as possible, moving slowly. Meeting back at our tabletops, let's take our left hand and bring it under our right arm until our shoulder hits the ground and then slowly placing your head on the ground. Your hips should be high here. So make sure you're not sitting on your heels. <sighs> you can keep the right hand on the ground, supporting you in your thread the needle posture, or you can bring it behind your back if you feel nice and stable and want to go a little bit deeper into the weight bearing on your left shoulder. Wherever you are, close your eyes. Breathe deeply, sending every breath you take to your left shoulder region. We won't be here for too long, don't worry. I know the left hand 
get to sleepy quickly from this intense shoulder pressure. We'll just be here for a moment. Try to release as much as you can. Almost like you're listening to the ground beneath you. Pressing your ear up against the ground. Feel free to always let out any sound effects as well within your breath. Anything you feel needs to be released. Maybe a sigh or a moan. And then slowly come back to center and change sides. Feeling all the tingles in your left hand start to release. Take a moment in your tabletop to just feel the difference in your shoulders. Feel how free the energy feels in your left arm. And slowly switch sides, bringing the right arm under your left arm. Bringing your shoulder to the ground slowly with control. Ear to the ground. Left hand can stay on the ground and support you in your pose. Or come behind your back if you're feeling nice and stable. Again, feeling this beautiful connection of your face to the ground. Not something we usually do. But it can feel like an interesting grounding sensation. comfortable for you today. We'll just use this pose to transition into a pigeon pose. So we'll lift the right leg, bringing the right knee to your right wrist, and dropping down your hips to the ground. Your left leg behind you should be straight, so just take a moment to check your left leg out. The front leg for more challenging can be straight in front of you or for more comfort, bring the heel in towards your hips. We want to make this a sleeping swan comfortable variation. So again, you can bring pillows and props to be as high as you need if you need more space for a belly. So I would use a lot of pillows so you won't have any pressure of the, the belly against your legs. Or if it's comfortable, you come all the way down to the ground. Really, it's up to you. You can also try all of these options for a moment before you choose your best variation. Going deep into the hips here, releasing all this tight energy in the hip region. 
which is usually tied for most people from sitting for long periods of time. And also we store a lot of emotional traumas and energy here in the hip region. So if you feel any release of emotional energy as well, just let it flow, let it be released to the world. Find your stillness and enter your breath. Breathing deeply through the nose, releasing into your sleeping beautiful pigeon. too intense for you as well, you can place a block, a book, or a pillow beneath your right hip, beneath your right sit bone, so it's less pressure on the leg in front of you and the leg behind you, so you'll be raised up, not as much weight bearing, I'm just giving you that option. Hi, Taya. Again, if you're looking towards one side, I'll let you know when to change sides as well. Change sides, whatever head, whatever direction you're looking in. Connect to this deep sensation in the hip region, in your thighs, in your knees, in your feet. And connect to the different sensations you feel in both legs as they're both being stretched in different ways. Breathing through the sensations, finding your peace and quiet. seated or you can join me in changing sides by transitioning through down dog. If you're transitioning with me through down dog, you bring the left knee to the left wrist for more intensity, bringing that left foot in front of you, almost like an angle seven with your legs. Or for less intensity, bringing the heel real close to your hips. Taking a look at your back leg, making sure it's straight. Again, placing the props in whatever way you felt most comfortable for you on the other leg. And see if that's also real comfortable for you on this leg or if you need to change the props as well. You can rest your forehead on your pillow or look towards one direction and I'll tell you when to change sides. Again, connecting to all the sensations you feel in both legs. So 
remembering our talk about the fascia and the deep connective tissue. And seeing if you can visualize them here too. If you're holding any tension and if you can release with the use of your breath. If you're looking towards one side, you can look towards the other now. Breathing deeply through the nose. Feeling your body relax and release a little bit more with every exhale. behind us now, preparing us for some reclined postures. So first, we'll come into reclined hero. This means we'll come up onto our knees and bring the pillow at your feet most likely because you want to be resting on it. It doesn't have to be in between your legs. And the feet should be on the outside of your legs, on the outside of your pillow. You can also do this without a pillow as well if you don't have any tension or strain in the knees. If you have sensitive knees, I would recommend using a pillow or prop. And we'll slowly start to recline back. Listen to your body, see if you feel any pain at all in the knees, then add more pillows. If you're okay, then slowly recline to the ground. You can place your hands on your feet, holding your heels, or on your belly, on your thighs, on the floor. I like to hold my heels. It's an interesting sensation, feeling the feet like this. <laughs> the head should be relaxed. If you feel any pain in the lower back, then move the pillow a little bit higher and let the hips fall lower down and place the pillow more on your lower back. Or add more pillows, always, always welcome. If you feel any nausea from laying down as well, you can place pillows just under your head so your head's not lower than your heart. Seeing what feels better for your body. Going deep here into the knee joint, into your quad muscles on the front of your thighs and your hip flexors at the top of your thighs. Close your eyes and breathe deeply. Connecting to this gentle, 
heart opening pose as well. We're going deep here into the legs, but also the heart is deeply open. The shoulders are rolling off the sides of your pillows. sensation. deep breaths here in the reclining hero pose. Slowly bring your hands to the ground and use them to help you release the legs forward, coming onto your feet. not already on a prop, you can use add more pillows now. We're going to stay here reclined on our props. Bring the soles of the feet together and come into recline bound angle. If you need to place pillows beneath your knees, if you're feeling too much of the stretch in the hips, that's okay too. Or if you want to add more pillows beneath your back, beneath your heart, to open up even more, you're welcome to do so. Also, if you want to recline on the ground, you can do that as well. The hands can be, again, wherever feels most comfortable, maybe on the belly, on the floor, or on your thighs. <sighs> Close the eyes again and find your stillness. As you find your stillness in the posture, I'd like to invite you into a short breathing exercise. Connecting to your breath and where you feel your breath. Let's start to focus on the sensations around the nose. Feeling the air enter and exit your nostrils, feeling it brush against the tip of your nose on every exhale. Just focusing on the sensations around the nose. of your breath movement, breath energy in the throat region.
Slowly moving down now to the chest. Connecting to the sensations in your chest of every breath you take. Feeling the chest rise and fall. Expand outwards and contract towards the center. Slowly moving down to the belly now. Feeling the belly inflate and deflate. Connecting to the sensations you feel in the belly region with your breath. Knowing that with every breath you take, focusing on the belly region, all your organs are moving, rising up and down, rubbing against each other, working on your digestive system, circulating energy in the belly region. Lastly, let's move towards the pelvis region, the pelvic region. Connecting your breath to your pelvic floor. If you have a Mula Bandha practice or any Kegel or pelvic floor practice, then you can practice that as well. On every inhale, releasing your pelvic floor and every exhale, contracting your pelvic floor. Even if you don't try and you don't have this in your practice, you should slightly feel this sensation anyways. The body does this on your breath, intuitively and automatically. You can feel the energy, every inhale pushing down, every exhale rising in, every inhale releasing, every exhale contracting. It's okay if you don't have a pelvic floor practice and you're feeling it mostly in your lower abdomen region or connecting to that sensation as well, that's okay. Your body is doing it anyways, so be aware of that. Slowly return to your normal breath without focusing anywhere. <sighs> Again, releasing any sound effects that might come to you in the moment. Rise up, 
You find a comfortable seat. You can sit on your pillow if you want your hips to be higher than your knees. Or move your pillow towards the side. Find your comfortable seat and close your eyes. Allowing the circulation to flow back down through your body. Connecting to this deep, meditative, relaxed state of mind. Slowly bring your palms together and rub, start to rub them, creating heat and energy, Reiki, energy between your palms. Keep rubbing, keep the eyes closed slowly place the hands on your body wherever you feel you need to. Send that extra healing energy, tender love and care. I like to do it on my whole body, rubbing the shoulders, placing my hands on my heart, lower back. If you need to, you can rub the palms again create more energy and then transfer it to places on your body, giving yourself a gentle body massage while you're transferring that healing energy. <sighs> Bring the palms back together and rub one more time. And cover your eyes without any pressure Start circling the eyes towards the right, your eyeballs. Even the eyes need a gentle exercise. And circle towards the left. And bring your palms out in front of you and start to look into your palms, blinking, Allowing your eyes to refocus on all the details of your palms. It is said that after keeping the eyes closed for a long period of time, when you open your eyes and the palms are in front of you, it allows the energy to return back to your body and store it safely inside. Almost like a mirror or a reflective light, if you can imagine that. Slowly bring your hands to heart center. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed the class. If you did, please like the video and subscribe to my channel and leave any comments down below with any feelings or feedback from your practice with me. Thank you. Bye.